competition or the inequality that it inevitably accentuates. And I'm afraid that violent economic centrifuge is operating on human beings who are already very far from equal in raw ability, if not in spiritual worth. Whatever you may think of the value of IQ tests, it is surely relevant to a conversation about equality that as many as 16% of our species have an IQ below 85, while about 2%, but anyway, 16% of well, you want to put up your hands? 16% have an IQ below, below 85, uh, 2% have an IQ above 130. And the harder you shake the pack, the easier it will be for some cornflakes to get to the top. And for one reason or another, uh, boardroom greed or as the people in the boardrooms assure me, the natural and God-given talents of, uh, of, of senior executives, the income gap between the top cornflakes and the bottom cornflakes is getting wider than ever. And I stress, I don't believe that economic equality is possible. Indeed, some measure of inequality is essential for the spirit of envy and keeping up with the Joneses and so on. Again, another point that was made in the, the comments there from viewers, somebody calling your son Pinocchio. It's, I know that you refer, you, you Pinocchio, responded to these allegations of lying before. a degree of literacy, which I think the Great British Republic doesn't necessarily have. Um, and well, I went... You, sorry, what do you mean uh, by that? I'm not going to get into that. Well, that's quite a pejorative <laughs> thing to say about the they Great British Republic. They couldn't spell Pinocchio if, it, um, if they tried. I, I think if either of us were in a fire, whatever the fire brigade said, we would leave the burning building. It just seems the common sense thing to do. Do you think he meant to say that he thought he would not have stayed put? That's what he meant to say. That's what he meant to say. But and that's that, what in a way, wanted. that is exactly what people object to, which is he's in effect saying, I wouldn't have died because I would have been cleverer than the people who took the fire brigade's advice. <sighs> but we want very clever people running the country, don't we, Evan? And I'm afraid that violent economic centrifuge is operating on human beings who are already very far from equal in raw ability, if not in spiritual worth.